Hey what's going on guys, Tertiwerty here, and welcome back to another Forge Modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.17. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering something I should have done quite a while ago, but based on how simple it is, and that is just foods. So, not much to say about foods, let's just get started. So, obviously, as usual, we need to create an item, so public static final registry object and that's of type item and I'm going to be creating beans because beans are good and best and that will simply just be items dot register beans supplier of a new item and in here we can just do a new item dot properties Let's do the tab, so dot tab and tutorial mod dot tutorial tab. Let's just put the semicolon so that we can format. There we go. Now all you need to do is add another property, that is dot food. And then you can just do a new food properties dot builder. And here you can simply just chain the options that you want. So obviously the main one is nutrition. And this is in uh, half a drumstick uh, sort of. Yeah, you, this is measured in half drumsticks. So if I say five, that's two and a half drumsticks. In fact, that's what I'll keep it as sure. Uh, and then the other important one is saturation modifier or saturation mod is what it's called and this is just the saturation not sure on the default values for this I think one is full saturation but I'm not sure I'm just going to do 4.5 anyways like I, I don't really care about the values specifically um, and then obviously apart from that you have some other options so you have like always eat which golden apples have basically allows you to eat it in creative mode or if you have full hunger etc etc you have dot fast so that's whether it's faster eating it you have dot meat which is whether you can give it to wolves for example um, and finally you have dot effect which we can cover now and you need to make sure you use the one with supplier that's just what we need to do just to make sure uh, we don't have any issues with it not being registered and here you can just do um, what was it it was mob effect instance all oh, right do we need to do a a new mod mob effect instance we do don't we yes okay as you can see there's a bunch of overloads for this now um, let's do the one with two integers. So the first thing is the mob effects, so the actual effect, and that will just be mob effects dot, and then the effect that you want. Um, some of these have slightly weird names, by the way. Since these are beans, they are going to give you jump boost. Okay, and then it is the, now which way round is this? Let's have a look, I guess. Okay, so it calls this one, it calls this one, it calls this one. Okay, the duration and then the amplifier. So obviously duration is in ticks. Let's go, let's do 360 ticks. And then for the amplifier, let's go with uh, jump boost four. And then after that, it is the uh, chance, I believe. If we have a look here, yes, the probability that we get it. So I'm going to give it a probability of 0.7. And obviously, you can just chain these. So if you want another effect, uh, am I on the wrong, wrong bracket here? Uh, nope, that is the right bracket. 
So if you want another one, obviously you can just do another dot effect and just a supplier of a new mob effect instance mob effects dots okay I'm not sure why it's doing this but I'm just gonna give it I don't know dig speed and this is the duration I think uh, if it's just one in I think it's duration and then I don't know dig speed 2 for 500 ticks whatever okay and then finally you'll see that doesn't quite work because that is a builder so we just need to simply do dot build and these must be on the wrong brackets and does this want an extra bracket yes it does there we go let's give this a better probability uh, point two know whatever whatever and yeah that is it obviously then you need to just do the lang which it's just as a normal item so item dot tutorial mod dot beans and then beans and then just the item texture so textures I oh, know we need to do the model such an idiot. Uh, let's copy clicker, I guess. Let's go beans and beans. Then I need to just grab a texture. Uh, let me find the beans. Beans, there we go. That is the beans, that's in the wrong folder. Put it in there. There we go. Okay. Let's run the game. Here we are, we are now in the game. And we have our beans, which I just grabbed from the creative menu. Let's go ahead and go into survival game mode survival and I guess let's give ourselves hunger uh, give s hunger <laughs> hope that that drains our hunger enough oh god the FPS that's not doing anything am I easy that's my only assumption why is my hunger not going down come on now am I really going to have to summon something to eat me alive I guess so how unfortunate There we go. Let's just get it down a little further. Since we set it to set five, so two and a half. Okay, I'll wait until it goes down to, yeah, I'll just let it go down to three. So one more, or half, or there we go. If I now eat this, that gives us and a half and it did give us jump boost five nice yeah nice Does jump boost negate full damage now I feel like it never used to do that huh uh, I guess yeah I guess it does interesting that's a very tall mushroom anyways yeah that's that's it I mean that's food um, Let's just give ourselves it again and see if we can get the... What's the other thing? Okay, we didn't get the other thing. I don't even remember what the other thing was. Uh, oh yeah, it was uh, haste, I think. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys did 
find this tutorial useful. I know it was very simple and quick. Um, but if you did, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button. And you know, you might as well subscribe as well. Uh, if you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Good bye. What color is an orange? Ted, you bonehead. Its color is the same as its name, just like a lemon.